When the Ford Motor Company announced two weeks ago that it would be replacing 13 million Firestone tires on its most popular sport utility vehicles and trucks amid concerns about tire safety, Firestone turned around and asked federal regulators to investigate Ford, claiming a design flaw in the Ford Explorer, not the tires, made the SUV unsafe to drive. While both companies point fingers at one another, what is not in dispute is that since last year, the failures of Firestone tires on Ford Explorers have been linked to at least 174 deaths and 700 injuries in the United States alone. The question is, could it have been prevented? As we first reported last October, the answer may lie in Venezuela, which with 47 fatalities and 200 injuries, has the highest death rate in the world from accidents in Ford Explorers equipped with Firestone tires. We went to Venezuela and found that both companies knew that they had a problem, but they kept it to themselves until it became an international crisis. Here in this one junkyard outside Caracas, we found seven Ford Explorers that had been involved in major accidents. All of them were equipped with Firestone tires. In all of the accidents, the stories were similar. The driver hears a sudden loud pop in one of the tires and starts to lose control of the Explorer as it slides across the highway, eventually rolling over several times, causing death or injury to the people inside. That is exactly what happened to Antonio and Mira David and their three children as they were driving along a highway seven months ago in their Ford Explorer. We had an explosion and, you know, in, in seconds, the, 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 the Explorer started to, to roll over. My kids, my three kids, I found them out of the Explorer. The David's oldest child, Sumaya, suffered minor injuries. Their nine-year-old daughter, Jessica, died instantly and their four-year-old son, Antonio Jose, was rushed to the hospital where he too died. I arrived at the hospital and they told me, what had happened? I said, an accident. They said, what kind of car were you driving? That's the first question they asked me. Yeah. I said, I'm exploded, Ford exploded. They said, oh my God, you could not imagine how many accidents had happened with these cars. Why couldn't, why couldn't we hear about that before? The fact is, they could have heard about it before. Firestone and Ford knew they had a serious problem on their hands. According to an undated and unsigned Ford memo submitted by them to a congressional committee, the company acknowledged that it was aware in July of 97 that explorers in Venezuela would turn over unexpectedly as a consequence of a tire explosion. And in 1999, knowing that they had a problem in Venezuela, Firestone and Ford conducted a joint review and found that accidents in Ford Explorers with Firestone tires caused 15 fatalities and 35 injuries, and that the root cause was determined to be tread separation of the tires. What is tire tread separation and how does it happen? This problem starts at the belt edges, and these sharp wires at the belt edge chew away at the rubber. Richard Baumgartner is a retired Firestone engineer and an expert witness on behalf of dozens of victims who've been hurt or killed in Ford Explorers equipped with Firestone tires. He says tire tread separation is like cancer, a deadly disease in the tire that often goes undetected until it's too late. And as you're driving back and forth to work or to the store, this separation will continue to grow and grow and grow. Then at some time, unfortunately, this large separation, which has been developing without your knowledge, will suddenly break loose. And at the same time, the tire loses its cornering ability. And when you try to get back, it is like trying to get back when you're driving on ice. Baumgartner has examined more than 60 Firestone tires made in Venezuela and the United States, which have been involved in explorer accidents. And of the tires we've examined, over half of these result in fatalities, mm -hmm. and the rest result in serious accidents. Venezuelan government officials say that the accidents here and in the United States could have been prevented. One of those saying that is Samuel Rue Rios, head of Venezuela's Consumer Protection Agency, which is seeking charges of reckless homicide against executives of Ford and Firestone. Porque ellos sabían. They knew long ago what was causing the accidents, and they failed to notify consumers or users. At least 80 to 90 percent of the accidents could have been prevented. 
That's a, a strong accusation. I mean, you're saying they knew about it and could have prevented it. They can't deny it. They can't deny it. They knew their vehicles were rolling over and this was causing death. What does Bridgestone Firestone have to say about that? We talked to Jorge Gonzalez, who runs Firestone in Venezuela. The Venezuelan government is seeking criminal charges against you personally, as, as well as other officials at, at Ford and, and at Firestone. They say that you committed reckless homicide. How do you respond to that? No, we, don't, we do not believe this is the case. We act always in a responsible manner. Well, they're saying you didn't. They're well, saying that you knew that you had a problem and that you didn't address it in a timely manner. Once all the facts are known, I think we will, uh, we will prevail. What is most troubling to Venezuelan government investigators is that once Firestone and Ford became aware of the problem, rather than ordering a costly recall, they decided to add what is called a nylon cap ply, a fifth layer of added protection in new tires intended to prevent tread separation and other hazards. But even that wasn't accomplished. When investigators examined these tires taken from Firestone's Venezuelan plant, they found that the new nylon cap was not added. What's more, they say, Firestone intentionally stamped a label on the tires indicating that the safety precaution had been taken when in fact it hadn't. They claim the tire had a safety cap. The clearest proof is when we cut open the tire labeled with five layers, it turned out to have only four layers. This means they lied shamelessly. Firestone has acknowledged that thousands of tires it made for Ford in Venezuela were mislabeled, but they say it was an inadvertent and insignificant mistake. What happened uh, was there was a mistake that was never caught, and in no way, shape, or form did this in, uh, stamping error compromise either the integrity nor the quality of the tire. But uh, uh, how could the mistake be insignificant if Firestone and Ford agreed that the nylon cap would make that tire safer? Doesn't that indicate that by making this change, you're trying to solve a problem? Uh, by making this change, we were trying to uh, improve our product, which is a continuous ongoing project uh, within our company. We always try to give the best the safest tire possible. You have quality control at Firestone, yes, we do. Venezuela. So how can you have quality control and you stamp these tires as having this nylon safety cap when in fact they don't? Okay, because this is one of the issues that uh, is regrettable. It's Firestone's position that the nylon cap is used only to allow drivers to go at higher speeds more safely, and the company insists there is nothing unsafe about any of its tires made in Venezuela, including the mislabeled ones. Do you think that that regrettable mistake caused accidents? No, sir. No, caused sir. no injuries? No. Caused no deaths? No. Firestone has maintained that the only tires that are defective were ones manufactured at their plant in Decatur, Illinois. But Richard Baumgartner showed us three Firestone tires which were involved in major accidents on Ford Explorers. They were manufactured at company plants in Venezuela, Wilson, North Carolina, as well as Decatur. They all showed similar patterns of tread separation. Each of them is identical in the way they fail. They peeled in between the inner and outer steel belts. There are no punctures in the tire. There are no uh, evidence that the tires were running flat. There's all indications that these tires were just running under normal conditions, well-maintained, and the treads came off. Could this be a, a coincidence, or do you believe that uh the tire itself is defective, regardless of where it came from? I believe the tire itself is defective, regardless of where it came from, because of this tendency to cause these uh, fatal accidents. Firestone officials in Venezuela say if there is a fatal defect, it's in the Ford Explorer that other manufacturers' SUVs that are equipped with Firestone tires have not had rollover accidents. What's more, Firestone says Ford ignored its recommendation that the tires on the Explorer be inflated to 32 pounds of air pressure. Instead, Ford told its customers to inflate their tires to 28 pounds. While Firestone is blaming Ford and Ford officials have blamed Firestone, the Venezuelan Consumer Protection Agency concluded that both companies worked in what they call a lethal combination to conceal the truth from the public. 
That's the same conclusion reached by corporate attorney Franklin Howitt, who is bringing a massive class action lawsuit against Firestone and Ford. It's a scandal. It's terrible. It's amazing what they did uh, in Venezuela. Ironically, for 30 years, Franklin Howitt represented both Firestone and Ford in nearly all of their Venezuelan business matters. That was until his own daughter, Claudia, and his son-in-law, Eduardo, were driving in this Ford Explorer two years ago when the tread on their Firestone tires suddenly separated, causing the vehicle to roll over. Eduardo was in a coma for three months and now has permanent brain damage, which affects his speech. Well, I look at this, and I'm amazed that you survived. Yes, me too. So you're disappointed in Ford? Very disappointed in Ford. Because we yes. trusted him. We trusted them. I couldn't believe that it was a defective problem and that they never advised, they never warned the people. It was a total conspiracy. They have hidden information. They knew it. Ford and Firestone's conduct in Venezuela is a central issue in dozens of lawsuits being filed in the United States by Mississippi attorney Paul Miner, who with the help of Franklin Howitt has been gathering information in Venezuela about what both companies knew and when they knew it. Ford and Firestone cannot deny that information that was developed in this country three years ago put them on actual notice that the tread of the tires were separating, the Ford Explorers were rolling over. They concealed the material facts from families here in Venezuela so that families in the United States and the United States authorities would not go into uproar. So you're saying that based on what they knew and when they knew it, that accidents that took place in, in California and Mississippi and other parts of the United States could have been prevented? Absolutely. Firestone and Ford officials both say they don't yet know exactly what is causing all these accidents. But officials have said that poor maintenance and driver negligence may be key factors. That suggestion is hard to swallow for Antonio and Mirna David, who lost two of their children in a rollover crash. What they're saying is that you were. Yeah, we, we You were negligent. Yeah, we heard that. Uh, it's true. I'm negligent, but you know why I'm negligent? because I trust in foreign Firestone. The Venezuela Consumer Protection Agency recently reported that 37 people have died since August in rollover accidents involving the Ford Explorer, after Ford refitted most of its Explorers in Venezuela with Goodyear tires. The agency is seeking to ban the sale of Ford Explorers in Venezuela.